Darcy. So today, guys, I'm going to be talking about a product launch from the brand VDL, okay? VDL just expanded their foundation line. And I gotta say, friends, I am impressed. I haven't actually tried the foundation yet, but as far as the shade range goes, pretty impressed. I believe they're up to 12 shades now, which is extremely impressive for a Korean brand. I've tried a couple of other brands that are available here on the Western side of the world. I am living in Canada. So there are a few Korean brands that are in Canada that do operate obviously for an international market. But even those brands will maybe have five or six shades tops. And as a consequence, can't really compete in this market. I live in a really big multicultural city and when I look around people look like me. So I often find it very perplexing that the brands don't seem to understand that. So with this expansion, um, the foundation colors come in warm shades and cool shades. Since I'm warm tone, I have the darkest shade in the warm tone family. There actually is a shade darker than this, but it's in the cool tone family, so that would not go well with me. Also, I'm pretty sure, at least from the way it looked in the bottle, pretty sure it's too dark for me. So technically there is one shade darker than this. If you are a cool toned, dark skinned person, then you might want to go for that. Um, but otherwise I'm trying the darkest shade in the warm family. I actually didn't like try this on in store or anything. I just picked it up and I went home. So I actually don't know if this is going to match me at all. Um, I felt like the shade up from it looked too light from the tester, but once again, I didn't even try it on my hands. I was kind of in a rush. I actually didn't even know that this had launched in Canada since I had seen the promo for it on VDL US Instagram. So I just happened to be walking past the face shop in the mall and I saw the foundations. They were front and center and I was like, oh my god, they have it here. So I just picked it up really quick because I was meeting a friend for dinner. I just picked it up really quick, didn't even try it, and then I just left. So hopefully this isn't too off for my shade, but it looks pretty similar to like shades that I have. Like, like this is the color that I wear in NARS. That looks very similar. So I'm pretty sure that this is going to be okay. In Canadian dollars, this retails at $37, so it's going to be cheaper in US dollars. And they're also doing a promo right now where you get a free foundation brush when you purchase this as well. My face is already prepped with skincare, but I don't have a primer on, so I'm going to use, duh, the VDL primer. This is the Lumi Layer Primer. Fresh. Exciting. Just gonna use like one pump of this because one pump is a lot. Might have might have been better to do half a pump, but it's okay. Okay, we're just gonna be extra glowy today. I'm actually getting ready for work right now. Okay, I, I got an hour and a half. We can do this. It'll be fine. Okay, so now that we're prepped, primed, and ready to go, let's put on the foundation. As you can see, never been used. Okay, we got a little pump here, so we're just gonna. Nice. And I'm gonna use the brush to do like a little swatch swatch. Let me see what this looks like. This is really full. Not really, well, medium to full coverage. I really want to sheer this out a little bit more with my Beauty Blender. I'm gonna apply the rest with the Beauty Blender. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think it might be a little too dark. This color here is what I normally wear, my NARS foundation, and then this is the VDL foundation. The VDL foundation looks a little bit more red. I think that might be what's going on here. This one looks a little bit more warm, a little bit more yellow. This one looks a little bit more red. I think that's the main thing that's going on on my face right now. My face looks a little bit red. When you look at my neck, And then this is the side without any foundation on. This side looks more red. I think that's what's going on here. Yeah, this side doesn't have any foundation on it yet. It's definitely looking more yellow, like how I am, because it's my face. And then this side is looking more red. Like, I don't hate it, but like, the undertone is just a little bit off still. Okay, let me apply to the rest of my face. Oh yeah. 
That is red. The coverage is really nice. The formula is pretty nice. But the undertone of the foundation is just definitely off. It's definitely too red. It's not yellow enough. Like, you could really see. Look at the difference there. Um, you'll, you guys are really going to see the difference when I put on my concealer. I'm going to use the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. This is a super yellow concealer. Look at that. Look at the difference. That's crazy. You can really see how red the foundation is. It's just like a huge difference. So after concealer, my face looks more of the tone that it's supposed to be. I just want to show you guys again. I did swatches on my arm here. This is the VDL one. So it is significantly darker. So I might have needed to go actually a shade lighter than this. Which is crazy. Oh my god. But still, this one you can see is significantly more yellow than this one. It's possible that if I go up a shade that might work. We'll see. I think I'm gonna go pick up the shade lighter than this and then get back to you guys. Um, I'm gonna pick up the one that is lighter than this one. So that should be the V05 foundation and that might actually fit me because now looking at the swatches on my arms, this one's like way darker. It's so interesting. Huh. Hey guys, so I am back. This is the next day. I went to the face shop yesterday and I picked up another one of the foundations. So this is the foundation here that I picked up. This is the color A06. As you guys can see, huge difference from V06. So basically what happened when I got to the store is that I wanted to see if the shade lighter than this one, the V06, would be closer to my shade. I did swatch it and it was way too light. I'm talking it was lighter than this one. And then when I swatched this one, it was still super light. However, this one was a like a yellowish undertone. Even though it's not described that way, when you look at the display, it describes all the ones in the V's as warm undertones and all the ones in the A's as pink undertones. But when I swatch them, it seems like they're the complete opposite. Okay, so I just swatched them on my arm. Sorry, these swatches are so freaking ugly, but... <laughs> These are both 06, by the way. So, I mean, in my head, maybe I'm crazy. I thought that maybe 06 would be pretty much the same color, but just different undertones for V06 and A06. But these are just completely different colors. The numbers don't seem to correspond at all, which is extremely frustrating. Like, what are the numbers for then? I don't understand. So as you can see, this is A06 up here. It does appear a lot more yellow than this one. Completely different looking people would wear these foundations. This one is too dark, and then this one's way too light for me. So it seems that I don't really have a perfect match in this foundation. This is as close as we're gonna get from the collection. Like, just swatching this foundation on my face is gonna be ridiculous. Um, it's just, it's there's no way it's gonna match at all or even close, even though it is an 06. So I'm just like, I have no idea what they're going by by this like numerical system. I don't know what's going on. Look at that. I'm like, are you like, are you kidding me? I want you guys to like really see how not warm tone that is. What like how are these both O sixes? What like what are the numbers for? I'm so confused right now. Literally, if the brand would message me right now and tell me why why don't the numbers correspond, I would really like an explanation for that. Because I'm telling you, even the girl that I talked to at the face shop was surprised that the numbers didn't correspond. They're even lined up on the display in such a way that the A's were on top and the V's were on the bottom, and it said pink tones for all the A's, and it said warm tones for all the V's, so naturally I pick up this shade, which is supposed to be a dark, warm toned color, but warm wear, honey. Like, this is just 
a complete mess. A com completely, completely. And this side is honestly not a complete mess, but for $37, I do want a foundation that actually matches me. So really, like, what's the point? I'm just gonna cover this side in the V06. If I mix the foundations, it's actually a decent color. But once again, what would I buy two foundations for? Spend double the price when I could just have one foundation that actually matches me. So clearly there needs to be some sort of in-between shade going on here. I've never seen a Korean brand make this many shades and be this inclusive in an international market, which is really amazing and I really applaud VDL and the Face Shop Nature Collection for doing all of this for us because I know it is for people like me. However, because there are only 12 shades of foundation, that means that, you know, there's only going to be like two dark shades and dark people come in so many more colors than that. So that's an issue there. You can find my color in like every single foundation that they have at Sephora, no problem. And to not have a color that matches me is like kind of a problem. I'm not saying everything should be catered to me specifically, but what I'm saying is is that um, my skin tone and my undertones are very common and I could easily find my shade in every other brand's foundation. However, I do understand that this is a new expansion and that this brand is learning and that's what we're all here to do today, guys. We're all just here to learn from each other. So I just want to make it clear that this ain't it, chief. The undertones are just off. I don't know how they're categorizing things. I'm just like confused in general is what I'm trying to say. But I'm gonna go put on the rest of my makeup and I will see you guys in a second. Okay, and we're back with the finished product. Does this look bad? I don't think it does. I don't think it does at all to be honest, but I'm also factoring in that I did use my Too Faced Sculpting Concealer again and this thing saves me every single time I have crazy foundation on. So it can cover up a lot of the stuff that's going on. I do have the concealer like right under my eyes all the way down to here. So like in this triangle here, um, down my nose bridge and on my chin. So you can see all those areas are lighter. I feel like this line has a long way to go. I mean, this is their first venture into doing darker colors, and darker colors can be tricky, especially with the undertones. So I feel like if they improved the undertones a bit, then this would be a really good line and a really good launch. I actually don't mind that this one is a little bit too dark. That's fine. It's just the redness of it that is bothering me. And also maybe some kind of cohesiveness. Like why are these both 06? I'm so confused. Please someone help me understand. Anyways guys, that's my review. My head literally hurts right now. I, oh my god. Big ups to VDL for trying. You guys, you almost made it. You, all, you almost got it. But just a little tweak here and there, we're well, we gonna be Gucci, okay? Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Am I being crazy or... Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go eat my breakfast now. I have some scrambled eggs, some bacon, and some home fries waiting for me. Okay, and your girl is hungry. Alright, so I will see you guys in the next video. I love ya! So, 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 